everyone, welcome back to my channel. Our most essential learning competency for this session is solving situational problems involving parabola. Example 1. Find the equation of the parabola whose vertex is the point negative 4, negative 3 and whose principal axis is the line x plus 4 equals 0 and passes through the point 0, 5. The first step that you will do is, of course, to sketch or illustrate the problem. So we have negative 4, negative 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 1, 2, 3. So this one is our, of course, vertex. Now, it says here that our principal axis is the line x plus 4, is equal to 0. So this is x is equal to negative 4 if you will solve for, for x. So this one is your principal axis. If our principal axis is parallel to the y-axis, meaning our parabola may either open upward or downward. But it is also mentioned in the problem that this parabola passes through the point zero five. So if we will sketch it, this is one, two, three, four, five. So meaning our parabola can be like this. Okay, so it opens upward. Now, how are we going to solve for the F? Because in finding the equation of a parabola that opens upward, we will be using x minus h squared is equal to positive 4f, y minus k. But in this case, you already have, of course, the hk, which is the vertex, negative 4, negative 3. Now, you do not have f yet. Remember that in finding this, you have to know first, of course, the lattice rectum. Actually, this one is the length of your lattice rectum. How are we going to solve for this? Since you have this point 0, 5, you just substitute it in the equation. So our point here is 0, 5. So therefore, you have the V and you have the P. We can solve for the F. So we have here 0 minus negative 4 is equal to 4f. Y is, of course, 5. And then minus negative 3. So this is positive 4 squared equals 4f. This one is 8 because this one becomes 5 plus 3. So this is 16 is equal to 32F. You divide both sides by 32, by 32. So your F now is equal to 1 half. So you have the F now and you have the V, the vertex. We can now find the equation of this parabola that opens upward. Again, the formula is X minus H squared is equal to 4F y minus k so this is x our h is negative 4 this one is 4 our f is 1 half and this one is y minus negative 3 so we have x plus 4 is equal to 2 y plus 3 so this is already the standard form of the equation of the parabola. But if you are asked to give the general, of course, we will be expanding this one. So this is x squared plus 8x plus 16 equals 2y plus 6. So this is x squared plus 8x minus 2y. So this is plus 16 minus 6 equals 0. So we have x squared plus 8x minus 2y plus 10 is equal to 0. Example number 2. 
A parabola whose axis is parallel to the y-axis passes through the points 1, 1, 2, 2, and negative 1, 5. Find the equation and graph the parabola. So let us locate these points first. 1, 1. Okay. 2, 2. And we have, of course, negative 1, 5. 2, 3, 4, 5. So these are the points. Based on the figure, we are certain that the parabola will open up wide. Why? Because it says here that the principal axis is parallel to the y-axis. Like this. Based on this figure, based on these points rather, as you can see, you can form a parabola that only opens upward. You cannot form a parabola that will open downward. Remember that these three points lie on the parabola. But we do not know yet the vertex. So how are we going to solve it? So we will be using the formula for standard form. That is x minus h squared for f y minus k. This one is a parabola that opens upward. Okay, we have here three points. We have 1, 1. We have 2, 2. And we have negative 1, 5. So we will be solving for the h, the f, and the k. So you can only solve these variables if you have also three equations. Again, we have to form a linear, a system of linear equation so that we can solve for these three unknown variables, the h, the k, and the f. So let's do it. Since we have three points, we'll just substitute this in place of x and y so that we can form three equations. Equation one, we'll be using, of course, the first point. We have one minus h is equal to 4f, that is y, or 1, minus k. Simplifying it, this is 1 minus 2h plus h squared is equal to 4f minus 4fk. This one is equation number 1. Equation number 2. So we have to use now the second point. This is 2 minus h is equal to 4f, 2 minus k. So this is 4 minus 4h plus h squared is equal to 8f minus 4fk. So this one is equation number 2. Equation number 3, using the third point, we have negative 1 minus h is equal to 4f, 5, minus k. So this is 1 plus 2h, multiplying the 2, multiplied by 2, plus h squared is equal to 20f minus 4fk. So, this one is equation number We now have the three equations. Remember that we are looking for the f, for the h, and for the k. I will be combining equation 1 and 2. So, that is 1 minus 2h plus h squared is equal to 4f minus 4fk. The second is 4 minus 4h plus h squared is equal to 8f minus 4fk. FK. Remember that in solving system of linear equation, you have to eliminate any of the variables that can be eliminated, of course. I will be multiplying the first equation by negative 1. So, negative 1, positive 2H, negative H squared. This one is negative 4F. And this one is positive 4fk. 
This one, I will just copy it. 4 minus 4H plus H squared is equal to 8F minus 4FK. So, I will be eliminating this because uh, they have, of course, a positive and negative, and they are equal, positive, negative, and then positive, negative. This one will be 3 minus 2H is equal to 4F. I will be naming it as equation number 4. Next step is to combine, of course, 2 and 3 this time. So this is 4 minus 4H plus H squared is equal to 8F minus 4FK. This is 1 plus 2H plus H squared is equal to 20F minus 4FK. Remember that you have to form two combinations. It can be 1 and 2. And, of course, 2 and 3, or it can be 1 and 3, and then 2 and 3. It depends upon you, okay? So, now, how am I going to eliminate this same variables that we, we eliminated in the first combination? Of course, I will be multiplying again this one by negative 1. So, this is negative 4. 16, uh, no, it's 4H minus h squared, negative 8f, plus 4fk. And then I will just copy it, plus 2h, plus h squared, 20f, minus 4fk. So this will be eliminated, eliminated. So this one is negative 3, plus 6h, is equal to 12f. So this is equation number 5. Let us now combine equations 4 and 5 and eliminate one of the variables. I will be eliminating here h. So I will multiply this by 3. So we have 9 minus 6h is equal to 12f. I will just copy number 5 or equation 5 is equal to 12f. So, we can eliminate now h. That will be 6 is equal to 12 or 24f. You divide both by 24. So, we have now f is equal to 1 4. f is equal to 1 4. So, next step is, of course, to solve for the h. To solve for the h, you just choose any of these two equations. So, I will be using the first equation, number 4 equation. So, this is 3 minus 2H is equal to 4 times 1 4. So, this is negative 2H is equal to, this is 1 minus 3. This is negative 2H is equal to negative 2. Divided by negative 2, divided by negative 2, h is equal to 1. So, I already have the h of the vertex, which is 1. I already have the f and the h. Let us now solve for the k. I will be using equation 1. You can use any of these three equations. So, this is 1 minus 2h plus h squared is equal to 4f minus 4fk. So, 1 minus 2, our h is 1. So, this is 1 squared equals our f is 1 fourth minus 4 times 1 fourth times k. So, this is 1 minus 2 plus 1. This is 1. This is k. Okay. So, we have uh, this is. 2 minus 2, 0. And then we transpose 1 here. This is negative 1 is equal to negative k. Divided by negative 1, divided by negative 1, k is equal to 1. So our k is equal to 1. Meaning to say, the vertex of your parabola is this one. Okay. How are we going to find 
the equation. So, you already have the F and of course, our HK. We are now ready to find the equation. Is equal to 4F, Y minus K. So, X minus 1 is equal to 4 times 1 fourth, Y minus 1. So, this is X squared minus 2X plus 1. This is y minus 1. So, getting, of course, our general equation. This is negative 2x minus y plus 1 plus 1 equals 0. So, we have x squared minus 2x minus y plus 2 is equal to 0. So, this one is the general equation of this parabola. But if you are asked to give only the standard, the standard will be x minus 1 squared is equal to y minus 1.